Well, welcome back, pilots and ground crew, to part two of the GEP RC little three inch micro quad. And uh, I said I'm going to show you all the components I'm putting in it, get a bill, and then give you a maiden. I'm not going to take you through the build process, right? I'll just do probably some jump shot photographs or something or other just to speed it up because I don't want the video to last too long. Plus, I want to get it all set up and get it to the field and give her a little maiden test okay then right so what we're we putting in there then well the flight control board right and the reason why it's out because i've already flashed it and everything but uh put the latest version of beta flight on the flight control board is uh, by hack rc and it's an f3 board uh, f4 board sorry i'm lying to you an f4 board by hack rc and uh, yeah that's all I can really tell you <laughs> I've done a review of this actually right? so check out my playlist and you'll find it on the micro quads all the information if you want more info if you want more information right just put that to one side uh, what up on this up right the uh, the ESC's just a little four in one stack it's a uh, 20 amp uh, once again by Hack RC, and she's uh, rocking D Shot 600. So that's that going in. The uh, receivers I'm going to use, I will either, I haven't decided yet, I ain't got a new one of these, right, but they both work great. Either the, uh, the Flint 10, which is a bloody good receiver, apart from the bulky bit sticking out the end, right, but it's still a good receiver, and this will come in handy for mounting at the side if that's the way I go. Or the FLI 14 Plus, right, which is a bloody good receiver, good little receiver this, you get about 500 metres on your little 3 inch for these things. Ignore all that uh, hot glow there. Uh, I always put a great big blob of hot glow over me antennas on these little things because it's so easy to rip them off. Right. So one of them two, I haven't decided yet, you'll see when it's built. Props I'm going to be using, uh, well, Gep RC props to go with a frame. Right, I've used these before, bloody good props. Uh, 30, I haven't used this size before actually, that's a lie. I've used props by Gep RC. Right, but these are the small little three inch ones and the 30, 45 props. So nice little set of props, quite cheap. All the links and everything uh, in the description if you want to check them out yourself. Getting on to the better stuff. Oh, I'll just finish off with this little bits. Uh, the, the buzzer, I'm going to be using a full speed buzzer because it's a small one which you'll already know from a previous video I did about comparing the full speed and the, uh, oh, what's it called? I can't remember the bloody name of the other one now. Oh, the, the bigger one. <laughs> check, the, check the previous video, the full speed and the bigger one. But yeah, I'll be using this full speed because, uh, well, it's a tiny little thing. So that's, right, now we're moving on a little bit closer. Oh. FPV antenna. I'll be using uh, another Foxier uh, lollipop version two. Like I put on the Foxier, you get two of these in a box for about fifteen quid. So you get more like that when you're getting two, and they are bloody good antenna as well. Same as the the first lollipops that came out, they were bleeding great. So yes, yeah, so I'll be putting that on as I have a spare one because, as I said, you get two in a box. Uh, motors, right? Now these might be a bit strange to you in a way, right? The quad. I'll leave a picture. The Ishing TS130 quad, which is a bloody good quad. I've seen loads of reviews on it. Right, and they all say it's quite powerful, the motors are great and everything. So I had a look at the quad and they sell the parts for it, obviously, and they also sell the motors. So these are the Ishing TS130 quad motors. There you go. You get uh, 
well you get two sets of nuts in here you get like a bigger size and a smaller size like depending on how thick your frame is basically but now so i got these motors i'll see if i can zoom in on this for you so you can get a better look there you go right i have to make sure i've got that keep that in shot yeah they are nice looking motors they are very well built right very well made all right i'll just let you have a quick look at the sides before i start waffling uh, you've had a look right i'll start waffling now yeah they're very well made i'll just zoom out a little bit because uh, i'm losing my angle on the camera yeah they come in which which is fine counterclockwise and clockwise threads right so you'll get a black top and if i show you this one just so you know in case you're a new pilot and you don't know what i'm talking about you get this one open there you go yeah you'll get a silver nut and a black nut the silver nut is clockwise and the black nut is counterclockwise and it's just how you mount them on your quads basically if you think the black one wants to be if you imagine there you go you don't have to imagine there's the front of your quad the black wants to go on the front left and the silver wants to go right on the front right and just do the opposite so here would be black and here would be silver on the tops uh, it just so when you tighten them it's how it spins so the nut can't come out which because they've got rubber threads in that's not going to bloody happen anyhow but it's the way things are done so yeah uh, I've taken a good look at them the magnets are very nicely laid in there the, the <coughs> excuse me I'm sorry the coils all right uh, open coils as you can see it's like an, an open bottom there you go Right, so if you get any dirt in there you'll be able to clean them out really easy and the coils in there are very very nicely put in very nicely uh, wound right and she's a well made motor she feels quite sturdy oh i'll show you that on the top of where your prop would go just here there's even some little uh, ridges cut out to hold your prop go back to the zoom in again focus focus You're not gonna focus are you too close okay go out a bit more come on there you go yeah you'll see just on the top bit here I've got running round where your prop will sit there's some little ridges just to bite your prop all right just to help hold it in place and it's quite nice actually and I've already shown you the motors, but uh, the coiling you can see better now. I've zoomed in again. The magnets are nice and tight. It's not just something that's going to spin loose. You have to. Uh, they've got a bit of bait on them, right? Very similar to the uh, RC in power motors, which are bloody awesome. One of the best, if not the. But yeah, so obviously I haven't tried these yet. So I'll tell you how they go. And zoom back out again yeah so they're the motors uh, just a minute put the nut back on so i don't lose the bloody thing and uh last but by all means least is the camera and the camera i'm using is the foxy uh, is it the pro yeah the foxy arrow micro pro uh, comes with the on-screen display which I'll be turning off because I'll be using Betaflight on-screen display so I don't know why I even mentioned it uh, it's a uh, 4x3 I couldn't get a 16 9 because my goggles are 16 9 but luckily if you've got a 4x3 camera right and your goggles are 16 9 it's fine because it just stretches the image a bit and it's still perfectly fine however if your camera was 16 9 yeah. and your goggles were 4 3 it knackers up the image because it stretches it that way and it makes a right mess of the image and it's almost impossible to fly thank you andy rc i'll chuck this in really quick a friend of mine got in touch with me he says george i buy some new goggles the 4 3 but all my cameras are 16 9 will i still be able to fly 
And I said yes because uh, it might just look a bit fuzzy at the ends. But I says to him, don't buy the goggles yet till I've checked. So I asked Andy RC and I was wrong. I, I was completely and utterly wrong. I, as I just says to you, if your goggles are six, uh, 4 by 3 but your camera is 16 9 it really distorts the image so you can't do that. But the opposite way around like I am with me, the, the camera is 4x3 but the goggles 16 9 so all it does is stretch it a little bit and it's fine. For new pilots if I've confused you there right, and you need a bit more information about that just ask in the comments and I'll be happy to get back to you. Let's take a quick look at this camera then. I got a blue one. I was hoping it was a light blue because if you notice the motors, the tops were light blue right, and the props were blue if you saw earlier. So I've got the blue camera and I was hoping it was a light blue but it's not. It's a more of a dark blue but still don't really matter. But yeah, it's a nice little camera. I've used these before. Right? I've actually got one in my Skyzone S140 Right, which you've seen fly a million times if you're a subscriber, well, maybe a hundred. But uh, yeah, they, they are bl bloody good cameras, really nice little cameras, really nice. And like I said, it's got an on-screen display, you can have your date, your time, your battery voltage, because the wires can come straight off to your battery and you get your battery voltage. You can get loads, you can have a personal name across, you get loads of information in this little uh, box here. You get your little, uh, well, you get a mount as well, but uh, you get a li little board that you plug into the back of the camera. You've seen them before, and you press the button and change your on-screen display to whatever you want it to do. But, like I said, I'll be turning my on-screen display off because, obviously, I just use beta flight, and I don't need my name across the bottom of it. But, yeah, nice little camera, and that just about covers everything. Oh, I will be using, which I haven't got here handy, the uh, Speedy B TX500 VTX, which you've heard me mention a million times before because I really like it. So, oh, there's one more thing I'll be doing. I mentioned the, the top in the first video, not big enough for a GoPro, really. However, these uh, Firefly cameras, they're only cheap, right? They're only about 15, 12, 15 quid. They're not amazing footage, they're not GoPro killers, but they're pretty good footage, pretty good indeed. Right. Uh, if you want to see comparison video, uh, check my playlist under HD cameras and you'll see a lot more information about this. But yeah, so that will fit very nicely on there. Right. And it's just the right uh, width and everything. Whoops. Just the right width and everything, just to fit on there nicely. So. I'll probably be using this on here. However, for the maiden flight, I'll just be putting my parts in and DVR footage uh, just to see how she flies as normal because obviously with that on there, there's going to be a difference because of the wind and stuff like that, a bit of drag. So let's get her all put together again. I'll give you a quick look at her once she's all put together and then we'll get to the field for a maiden. Hello, pilots. I'm jumping in here. Uh, George from the future so to speak because uh, that bit of the video you've just watched was from uh, well way over a week ago a couple of weeks ago right I'd already made it and uh, that's when I'd realized uh, which I'd mentioned in part one of this build I mentioned I'd got the wrong size motors right and I was waiting for the correct size motors however I left them in the video because, I've uh, got one here to show you, these are bloody good motors actually, right, these Yixing from the uh, TS-130, they are bloody good motors, right, unfortunately there was no good for this particular frame. Now, if I show you the correct motors, or I'll just tell you the specs, they're the GR-1206 4500kV for 2 inch to 3 inch size props and the, you can uh, use a 2 cell to a 4 cell lipo and the colour is titanium very pretty right if I just open this up right the motor see I haven't even opened them yet Oops. Right. 
Now that is the correct size motor. Now if you compare it to the one I actually bought, you can see the mistake I made straight away, can't you? You can actually see the mistake I made if I zoom in a bit more. Right, whoops, wrong way. There, you can see this is the one I got, and that's the one I needed. I really did screw up. Right, completely my fault, nobody else to blame. Right, rookie mistake, but there's no way this motor was going on this that frame. Right, so I've had a this is going to be so hard to actually zoom in and show you, but I've had a look at this, right, and this is awesome. Right, like I say, this tiny little thing is for uh, four S lipos, right? The twelve oh six, yeah. And uh, it, it's a bloody good motor, right? But uh, the mounting holes are different and everything, and that's why I needed this size. Uh, obviously, I need different props as well. They're the E Max uh, Evan Evin Mini A V A N Mini, right? And I got the, uh, you can get them in all different colours, right? But I got the sort of like, uh, shall we say, see through black or crystal clear black or whatever you want, right? And they just uh, pop on and you screw them in, right? I'll leave links for them motors as well. But uh, the thing is with GEP, everything's so well made and everything. And uh, look at this in, in the package, right? Friggin' uh, awesome. Well, wrong way, let me just zoom out a little bit more. Bloody awesome. You got three individually packed screws, and it actually, uh, you get a pack of four on each, you know what I mean? Right, and on the first package, right, you've got for propeller. So they actually give you the mounting screws, four mounting screws for your propellers straight away. On your second little package, Right, it's for three mil thick arms for mounting onto a quad that's got three mil thick arms, and on the bottom little package, it's for mounting onto a quad who's got only got two mil thick arms. So they cover absolutely everything, right? Different size arms plus your actual prop screws as well, so you don't have to hunt all over the place for them. That is it with uh, Gep RC, right? The quality of everything they make, frames and everything, like this frame I'm reviewing, right, is brilliant. And the motors, and they always think about the customer. Like I say, putting them screws in all them different sections. But I had to jump in here, right, because I'd mentioned them motors, right. And when the quad's built, which you'll see in a couple of seconds, right, you'll notice these motors are different to the ones you've just seen. But like I said, I left these in the review, and there'll be a link in the description to these, right? And these were the uh, 15, 15 07s, I believe. Yeah, 15 07s, right? Great for micro mini quads and stuff. It just so happens, this particular frame, this is the maximum size it'll take, 12 or 6. Right, but uh, just one of them things, I made a mistake, but these things, these e Shing ones will not go to waste, but uh, these are bloody awesome. Okay then, now uh, let's jump back to the video and get her all put together here, and uh, go from there. Cheers. Well then, there she is, all finished, and as you can see, I went with this kind of a uh, black theme, black tape and everything around the uh, arms, and I mounted the antennas sideways, right, like I said, I don't want keen on them coming out from the back, and if you notice the FPV antenna, which was the foxy, uh, I was going to show you then, but I've coloured it in, yeah, I've even uh, coloured that in black, just so it all goes with. And uh, yeah, I've still got my blue camera, but still. And yeah, uh, my motor's on, which I've just spoken about. And I'll tell you what, this was such a tight build. And when I say tight, that, that's not fair actually. Right? Everything went in fine, right? except for one thing. I wanted to get that full speed buzzer in that I showed you. And if I zoom right in, right? You can see it's literally, I've got it mounted just behind the camera there, right? and I've had to stand it up, and it, it's tight, it's really tight. I, I really had to mess about getting that in there, I really did. But uh, yeah, so, whoa, wrong way, come out again. 
so yeah she's all finished got everything on got the motors finally <laughs> i know i've just mentioned them but if you'd watch part one all right but uh yeah so and as i've already said i left the uh them original motors them ts uh ts them Ishing T130 motors in the video because the bloody good motors just are no good for this particular quad. All right, but uh, these motors are quiet. I've had it spun up and it's really, really quiet. Yeah, obviously when you put the props on, you're going to get a bit more noise. But yeah, there she is. Then there's one thing I will mention. Right, uh, <laughs> I was actually I got an email. Right, and asked me to do a build video. But an uncut build video, as in the full thing, uncut, no jump shots, no now, any mistakes, just keep going. So I thought, what the hell? I don't know if anyone's going to watch it. I'm going to post that video, well, a bit later once I've edited, well, not edited it, but put all the bits together because I was stopping and starting, stopping and starting because I did it. While I put this together, I filmed it. All right, but I was asked to do one, so I thought, what the hell? Alright, so that will be coming up a uh, few days next week, whenever. Alright, you might watch it, you might not watch it. A couple of interesting bits that I came across with a flight control board that I did somewhat a little bit different. Did jumper cable type things coming off. Slightly different way to what you might have thought. But no, she's all put together. I personally think she looks cool. And I hate the red cable coming off the XT30 and the XT30 being yellow. I wish they was all black, but there again, I could have problems with the battery. But no, I like the way she's come out. I'm quite happy with it. So, uh, there you go then. Okay then, let's take her for a maiden flight, give her a quick rip and uh, see how she flies. It'll be DVR footage, but uh, luckily I've got one here to show you. At some point, which I won't do for the DVR, right, I'll be able to mount that perfectly just there. Maybe a bit bulky or whatever. Whoa! But that'll mount on there. Right, so I'll be able to get some HD footage later on. But uh, just for this flight, right, I'm just doing it as stock and just doing it through DVR and just see how she handles and feels and everything. Okay then, uh, pilots and ground crew, to the field.